There she goes. Perfect. Oh man, I'm so happy. So happy. Oh, thanks, son. Good job, Dad. Good, Good yep. job. Thanks for all the tuition. Yeah. <laughs> It's time now for The Angler's View, brought to you by Pure Energy Rechargeable Batteries. John's trophy pike hit a white chartreuse spinnerbait on the edge of a large weed flat. Let's dissect some of the factors involved here. Water depth on the outside edge of the flat was approximately 8 feet. The weeds on the outer edge were 1 to 5 feet in height, gradually becoming taller and reaching the surface toward the shoreline. Sean observed open pockets and secondary edges in the fauna. He knew that pike would likely be utilizing the open pockets and tapering weeds on the outside edge as ambush points. The outside edges of any structure are often more productive when targeting larger fish, especially when adjacent to deep water. Areas like this allow pike the security of cover in the deeper weeds as they wait for prey, yet offer an easy retreat to deeper water when they feel threatened. The strike zone in this scenario was the band of water running along the entire length of the flat in depths of 8 to 6 feet. This is where the weeds began to emerge from the lake bottom to where they became closer to the surface on top of the flat. John cast his spinnerbait to the structure at a 45 degree angle. By letting his lure flutter down and slow rolling it back to the boat, it ran perfectly over top of the submerged weeds, staying in the strike zone longer. Due to heavy winds, Sean utilized a drift sock in conjunction with his electric motor to perform a precise controlled drift. An occasional thrust from the motor enabled the boat to be kept on a perfect angle and within prime casting distance from the structure. For more information on subjects featured in today's show, log on to our website.